Hello from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Chiang Mai is a medium-sized city in the north of Thailand and apparently has incredible bookstores. I wound up getting quite a haul. A copy of Inverted World by Christopher Priest in the uh, SF Masterworks edition. Just read this, Hard to Be a God by the Strugatsky brothers in the uh, SF Masterworks. This was about five bucks. All the books in this section were around five bucks. This one was new, in new condition. Read that one as well. The Stone Gods by Jeanette Winterson. Winterson is a modernist writer, and I think this is her only science fiction novel. And I've read one of her nonfiction books that's commentary about art appreciation and loved it. And I've tried to get into her fiction and haven't really cracked that egg. But this looks pretty good. Resentment by Gary Indiana, which I was interested in already because of the aesthetics. And then I saw in the back, it's blurbed by Scott Bradfield, who has a booktube channel that I like. And I ran this past Sean of SF Ultra, and he said, yeah, grab it. It's crime fiction, I'm pretty sure, or procedural. It looks interesting. I don't really know anything about the author, and this is honestly kind of low on my TBR. UK edition of Supercon by J.G. Ballard. Excited for this one. This is high on the TBR for sure. This one's really interesting. Mama Black Widow by Iceberg Slim. Who wrote Pimp? That's what he's most known for. And he's someone that I've just not read because it always seemed like exploitation to me. I don't know. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Very fine. Very well. Good. Me too. You? I'm good. I'm good. Very good. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Thai people are very friendly. Iceberg Slim is someone I had never heard referred to as like a literary talent, but this looks incredible. The back of the book screamed out to be read. It's about a drag queen who migrates from the South to Chicago in the 1940s. And um, apparently heartbreaking and grim and bleak. Sounds like the jungle to me, which is one of my all time favorite books um, and I am trying to add in a little bit more literary fiction into the mix post Hunter Book Challenge although you can see it's still mostly science fiction. Um, that one I'm very interested in. Philosopher's Stone by Colin Wilson which I have indeed already read. Those were all from two bookstores. I went to a third bookstore with low expectations thinking that it would be a new age bookstore because it's called Shaman Books. And at first I thought that was basically what it was because the new age section is enormous. And then I went upstairs and even though they had a science fiction section downstairs, they have a massive science fiction and fantasy section that is relatively untouched. I don't think it gets a lot of traffic up there. And it was loaded with amazing titles. So I spent a total of 540 Thai baht, which equals out to just over 15 US dollars. So it's about two and a half dollars per book. And when you see what I got, you'll see how good of a deal that really is. A hardcover X library edition of Triplicity by Thomas Dish. This uh, contains Echo Round His Bones, The Genocides and The Puppies of Terra. I have not read the first and the third. Uh, I have read The Genocide, so I'll be reading those other two. Even though I only got six books, I left so much behind, and I hope that I chose wisely. Uh, I could have come away with probably a hundred books. Wreath of Stars by Bob Shaw. You'll notice these are not in very good condition. It's essentially in an attic, and I don't think it's all that well ventilated, and it's pretty humid here and this is the non-humid time of year. So I think that there's quite a bit of moldering that is uh, transpiring up there, but for my purposes, it's fine. A relatively nice copy of Count Brass by Michael Moorcock, the first volume in the Chronicles of Castle Brass. I didn't know until after I had purchased this that the Brass series is a follow-on from the Runestaff series, which is four books. So this one, I'm probably just gonna have to uh, sell back to them. Garments of Sayan, or however it is pronounced by Barrington J. Bailey, a book that I've seen discussed in a couple of places. 
really pretty poor condition, but um, sounds like a pretty wild space opera about uh, an outfit that changes the wearer's personality. I don't know, it's supposed to be good. The second Christopher Priest book, copy of The Space Machine, which is an homage to old scientific romances, namely H.G. Wells. And this is in a pan, and as you can see, it has traveled a few miles. And finally, I had this in the back of my mind as, wouldn't it be crazy if you found a copy of this book while traveling around the world? It'll never happen, but wouldn't it be nuts if it did happen? Star of the Unborn by Franz Verfel. You've probably gotten tired of hearing me talk about Star of the Unborn. If you're new to the channel, this is a previously totally obscure science fiction slash fantasy book from the late 40s, written by an Austrian-American uh, writer as his final work. Apparently this is the first draft, which I didn't know first time I read it. And I found it at a thrift store, happened to read it, fell in love with it, and uh, because it is so rare and because I loved it so much, it's now really hard to find. Um, but I found it, so I'm gonna mail this home, kind of in part as a test run to see how much it costs to mail stuff back to the States, and then I might wind up cherry picking some of this stuff to mail home, or maybe a couple other books. Cannot believe that I found it. I was um, elated. My plan is to read all of these, except for Star of the Unborn. My plan for life for the coming couple weeks is to read these books and take in the sights and have a nice easy life. And life in Thailand is turning out to be pretty easy and pretty nice. And because I'm gonna be dedicating so much time to reading, there's gonna be a lot of reviews trickling in, I think. All right, thanks for watching and I will see you then.